YouTube viewer, thank you for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you how to create the Facebook logo in Photoshop CS5. Now, this is pretty easy to make, and as you can see here, I've already set up an example of what we're going to make here today. And this is all being made in Photoshop CS5. There's no fonts that you need to install, but there is a gradient package which you would need to install, but we'll get onto that later in the tutorial. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select File, New change the width and height to 500 pixels resolution to 72 pixels slash centimeters color mode RGB color in 8 bits and background contents to transparent and then hit OK now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, fill layer 1 white and to do that I'm just going to select layer 1 as my foreground color just by clicking the first box over here and changing that to white and then hit OK and then I'm going to hold down ALT and press backspace and that is just going to fill the layer selected my foreground color now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new layer just by clicking the new layer button here and then I'm going to right click the shapes tool and select rounded rectangle tool and by default the radius will be 10 pixels but we're just going to change this to 60 pixels so that's 60 space PX and hit enter and what that's just going to do is just give us a more rounded edge for our, uh, our shape in the background here. So I'm just going to hold down shift and click at the top left corner. And then drag down to the bottom right corner. And by holding shift it's just going to keep the same aspect ratio. Release to click and then release shift. And now what we're going to do is we are going to fill the shape here. And to do that you just want to click on the uh, shape thumbnail here and drag that to black and then hit OK and the reason why we did that is just so we can see it when uh, when we rasterize the layer and that's just what I'm about to do so right click this and then select rasterize layer and what we want to do that for is so we can put a radial gradient of our choice uh, wherever we want on the shape so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the shape and to do that I'm just going to right click at the uh, se selection tools here and then select magic wand tool and click on that once and that should select the whole shape and then I'm going to click on my gradients tool so I'm just going to right click this one here and then select the gradient tool and then I'm going to change this to the radial gradient and under the gradient presets I'm just going to change this to the Facebook preset which you can download by clicking the link in the video description you're also going to get all of these other gradients and to install them you just click this button here and select load gradients and find the gradients file select it and then hit load I'm not going to load them because they already have them loaded so I'm just going to hit cancel on that and select the Facebook uh, gradient which is the third one from the end and then I'm just going to click somewhere near the middle of the uh, the shape here uh, at the bottom and drag up to the top about one third down from the top and then release the click and then release shift so now what we have here is we just have the gradient in the background of our Facebook logo and now what we're going to do is we're just going to create that gloss that we see in the upper of this shape here and that is pretty easy to do so I'm just going to go back to this project and select the elliptical marquee tool I'm just going to uh, scroll out a bit just by holding alt and bringing my scroll wheel towards me and I'm actually just going to right click this and deselect that so we don't get any interference and I'm just going to hold down uh, hold down my click and drag so then we get a nice massive ob, uh, oval here and this is just going to be the base of where we want our uh, gloss to be so I'm just going to hit control R bring up the rulers just to check make and make sure this is even okay I think that's about good so I'm just going to drag that ruler out and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new layer and with making sure that our foreground color is set to white I'm just going to hold down alt and press uh, backspace and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower the, uh, the opacity of this layer sorry 
and I'm just gonna change that to about 20 and right click this deselect and then what we're gonna do is we wanna make that uh, shape down the bottom here and that is basically uh, basically what we just did except we're gonna do it with the shape so I'll just go back to this create a new layer right click the shapes tool and then select rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to change the radius to 15 this time so that's 15 space px and hit enter and then I'm just going to draw a shape around the bottom of this uh, shape well the blue shape like so and you can move that so it's even just by uh, moving your arrow keys and then I'm going to load the opacity of this layer as well but I'm going to change this to about uh, 25% uh, no let's make that 30% and hit enter and I'm just going to load the opacity of this one here down to 15% and hit enter so now as you can see we basically have the full background of our Facebook logo but now what you want to do is you just want to create that air fan to do that you want to create a new layer right click the text tool and then select horizontal type tool and just draw a massive box and you want to change the size to about I don't know at least just to 300 at the moment and hit enter and the font that I'm gonna use is Errol and where is that okay there it is right there and I'm going to change the mode of the font to uh, bold and then I'm going to uh, press uh, F on my keyboard and that's just going to give me the text and select my move tool here with the layer selected I'm just going to hold down control and press T so I can resize this easily hold down shift to keep the same aspect ratio and when you're done with that just hit the check button and then you can drag this to whereabouts you want it I'm just gonna make that just a little bit smaller and hit the check again and you can move this with your arrow keys and it goes just so it aligns up with the uh, shape here the uh, transparent shape that we have down at the bottom here so that is basically it. If you want to make it into a icon, then you can just go image, uh, image size, and you can just change this to 64, uh, 64 times 64, and hit OK. And that will just make it the icon size. And you can go File, Save, or wherever you want to save it, and choose your file type, and hit Save. So thanks for watching, rate, comment and subscribe.